Hey guys, Chris Lopez, Strong First Level 2 Kettlebell Trainer, Certified Turbulence Trainer. I'm a good friend of Shauna Kaminsky's and I wanted to film this video for Shauna and her friends, hi guys, um, on how to swing a kettlebell properly. Uh, kettlebell swings are probably one of the biggest mistake exercises that you'll find around, mainly because people kind of misunderstand what the whole point is. A kettlebell swing when you train hard style, which is the style that I espouse and the style that I, I think really has the greatest carryover towards what your fat loss goals are, um, it means that when you're swinging the kettlebell, you're using more of your hips. A lot of people mistaken the swing for being a squat exercise where you kind of grab the kettlebell down and then you lift up. And you can see that when I do this, I've got an excessive knee bend. But in actuality, the kettlebell swing should be performed with a really great hip hinge. That means that I'm really focusing on driving my butt back and trying to get my, my back parallel to the ground, as you can see from this position here. So a squat kind of looks like this. But if I'm hinging or doing almost like a deadlift pattern, then I want to be swinging my kettlebell like this. Now, you need to really focus on three main things if you're going to swing a kettlebell with a great hip hinge. The first thing is, and the most important thing, is making sure that you've got that good arch in your back. So you've really got to brace your abs so that when you come down, you can maintain that good arch in your back, which means your spine should be relatively extended as you come down. Now, that means bracing your abs nice and tight and never hunching forward or losing your shoulders. Now that's the second thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, making sure that your shoulders are packed. So you wanna make sure that when you're swinging your kettlebell, your shoulders are down and back. And by keeping your shoulders down and back, even though you're coming up to the top of the peak of the swing or even down into the bottom, your shoulders are gonna stay in their sockets and you could really feel your lats. So your lats are those armpit muscles, the muscles that run from the insertion point on your, on your arm here down into the side of your rib cage. And you wanna be able to feel those lats when you're swinging a kettlebell. And then the third thing that you really wanna focus on is using your glutes as much as you can. And that means driving your butt back. So I like to use the analogy when you're swinging of almost punching a hole in the wall with your butt as you come down and bring the kettlebell down and then squeezing your glutes at the top and by squeezing your glutes at the top again you protect your lower back and you really focus on powerful extension which is what's going to get the kettlebell up now you'll notice that with a hard style swing the kettlebell really provides you with a lot of feedback so if you've got what's called that squatty swing then you'll notice that the kettlebell will droop and it will come down so if you got that squatty swing then the kettlebell gravity will take the bell and the bell will fall down but watch when i do the hard style swing you'll notice that the kettlebell is a projection of my arms it's almost like an extension so let me show you what i mean so for the kettlebell swing, remember it's a hip hinge. We're gonna get our hips back and really bend our knees only slightly and really light up our hamstrings, pushing our bums back. I'm gonna pack my shoulders just like what I was telling you, really start to feel it in my butt. And then from here, looking forward, keeping that good extension in my back, I'm gonna height pass through and extend. So as you can see, when I did that, the kettlebell was actually being projected outwards and almost up a little bit. It didn't fall down. And all that means is that I was really using a hinge pattern as opposed to a squat pattern to swing that kettlebell. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. You can use that with the circuit that I provided you with in today's email and really use that swing to your advantage, making sure that you're contracting your abs and your glutes right at the top of that swing, maximizing tension, because as you know, kettlebell swing are great for core work as well. So I'm Chris Lopez, SFG Level 2 Kettlebell Trainer, Certified Turbulence Trainer. Thanks so much and uh, I'll see you in the next video.